Welcome to the channel. So after years of not knowing what really started the beef between Casper and AKA, Casper finally talk about what really happened, what really started their beef. Um, he forgot why you guys were even beefing to begin with. Yeah. I like you guys that. have actually had, oh, you remember? I remember. Okay, what, what was the problem? I had forgotten myself, by mm -hmm. the way, but someone reminded me. Um, fuck, I'll tell it on this. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell it on the El Tito podcast. Yes, sir. So the real beef started because of a song. It was because of Kusheshe. Um, I made the song and I wanted Malum Cool Cat on it. Mm -hmm. And then Cool Cat, there's two stories, but this happened before. Then Cool Cat got on the song and then he loved it so much. He was like, let me put it on a third verse. And I was like, nah, like this song is perfect. Mm -hmm. And he came there like three days back to back. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I need to put my verse on this, on this song. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he kind of felt like I was saying, yo, I don't need you, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Cause I also said like, I wouldn't want you to be on my first hit. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, and then from there, it got a bit sour. And I was like, let me make another song for you. We have three songs together, me and Keenan. Mm -hmm. You told me. Yeah. And um, I was trying to make like another Gushesha for him, for his mm -hmm. project. We recorded the songs, but he never used any of them. And then one time we were in the studio at Georgia Vacan, Georgia Vacan studio. They mm -hmm. were making... That we know, we know, we know, we live in on the edge, that song. Yeah. And I wanted to be on that song. And then I wasn't big enough to be on the song. So they chose Keenan to be on the song and kept me off the song. And um, we were chilling, like smoking outside. And I said to him, I want to be the greatest. I want to be the biggest. I've studied you. I've studied WHP. I want to be bigger and better than all of you guys. And I feel like that's kind of like what set it off. And then from there, um, I sent him the Gushesha video to post. Mm -hmm. And he didn't post it. And so you're going to take me out the song and still try to make me post your you song? You see what I'm saying? It's like, you, you said you don't need me. Like, and then I felt some type of way and I probably like tweeted something that like ticked him off. And I remember, I think I SMSed him or whatever. So before anything started, I think I called him or he called me. I was actually walking somewhere in Rosebank and um, I think we had a little argument about like him not owing me anything and you know and then he took his phone and he was just like nobody's going to put you on whatever but it was up to you. He didn't tweet to me but I felt like he was talking about me. Nobody's going to put you on. We got this shit out the dirt. Something mm -hmm. like that. Like mm -hmm. that he put himself on mm -hmm. and I also felt some type of way. So that's how it kind of started. From there just like every week there was something. There was a line. There was and it was just back and forth from there. I Tess also did talk about this lab that you got from AKA. Please don't forget to leave the comment and share your, your opinion about this matter. The only thing they know, you went on social media saying he slapped you, yeah. right? Um, and at that time, you were like protecting the brand. Like we spoke about the brands. Mm. You said, nah, I didn't fight back because yeah. I have to keep my brands in yeah. check. I don't want to act like a hooligan. Yeah. Um, explain to us what happens on that night. Like, I just signed a deal with a, a, a company called AG Mobile. Mm -hmm. Um I think they were giving me a million or something. I don't remember the light flex. Yeah, mm -hmm. for that time it wasn't light flex; it was a big flex. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and yeah. then I go to the club to celebrate, and then we end up being in the same section. Me being me, I'm just in the corner. I don't want trouble. Mm -hmm. And he just came over with. I think it was cheeks. No, it was rich mahogany. Or cheeks, they look alike. Cheeks is done design, by the way. Yeah, and they don't look alike. One of them. Yeah, okay, so that take that him. out. Yeah. And one of them walked and he just got there and he slapped me. And I, I was not expecting it, so I fell. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. And I'm facing on. 
So I didn't So at that point, like, I want to fight. Because, like, I'm embarrassed. I want to fight. And there's, like, these bodyguards or these um, bouncers that are holding me. I remember also, like, rest in peace, Tibbs was also right there. I pushed Tibbs. And he looked at me like... Like, little nigga, you're going to push me? Mm, like, mm. but I'm pissed off. I don't care. Mm. I really want to fight. Mm. But in those few seconds where these guys were able to hold me back, I came to my senses and said, yo, this is not a good look. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. I turned around. I jumped the couch and I went home. And, um, yeah, it was a pop. So I tried to, like, do, like, posting. Because I don't want someone to post before me and tell a different story. So then I am like he posted like I got five fingers. <laughs> you went that bad, Jack. <laughs> Thousand ways to die. Like, what? like posted like I don't even remember what the code was, but my God is big. Like I could like, say you can slap me, but I'm so happy. Yeah, you can slap me, but not take the happiness outside of me. What? Ah, <laughs> new <laughs> 